Hello, welcome to my student project demo for Hub21. So my name is Aya and just for some student background, uh, I've been learning with Hub21 for around a year now, learning Python with Hub21 uh, for around a year now. Um, I started off with zero coding experience. So I just did the, an introductory course to Python where I learned lots of basics to Python, such as uh, defining functions, loops, how to make tiny mini games, things like that. And then I went on to the actual um, coding pro program, and there I'm starting. I've been learning specific modules to coding. Uh, for example, I recently finished um, the algorithm module just last just last week, uh, and today I'm just going to be presenting one of the most recent lessons I've done in the algorithm module, uh, which is the stacks and queues lesson, and specifically a tiny project we did to learn more about stacks. Uh, so first, just for some background on stacks and queues. Um, so stacks are, are and queues are both data structures, but the difference between them is that in stacks, the last element to go into the stack is the first one out. So basically, it's like kind of like a stack of plates where you can put in different elements, but they can only come out like this from the top to the bottom. And then uh, also known as LIFO, last in, first out. And the Q, queues are is kind of like the opposite so first in first out or fifo where the well basically it's like any real world queue so where like the first um element to go in is the first element to go out of the data structure or the queue and some real world examples just to understand them more um for example with uh, queues, uh, when people go onto a website and when there's lots of people going onto that website, uh, the first person to go in to click on, log into that website is usually the first one to get into the website. Uh, that's like for queues or for like logging into the Wi-Fi, things like that. Um, and then for stacks, uh, stacks are a good way for computers to understand whether uh, different, um, Parentheses are in their right places, and yeah, things like so, things around that nature. Um, but now to look at the actual project that I'll be presenting. Um, so I'm going to be presenting this project where you are giving given a string s consisting of a lower English letters. A duplicate removal consists of choosing two adjacent and equal letters and removing them. We repeatedly make duplicate, duplicate removals on S until we no longer can, returning the final string after all such duplicate remo removals have been made. Uh, so for example, here we can see that S equals A, B, B, A, C, A, but then it turns into A, A, C, A because the B and the double Bs were removed, and then that turns into C, A because the double C, A's were removed. And so to do this, we first we defined the function removal and taking in an input of s, which is the word or the uh, jumble of letters. Uh, then we defined stack, so we created a stack for the word to be cre created in. And then for i in range len s, or for every single uh, letter in s, uh, first of all, if the stack was just empty, we would just put the uh, letter inside. And then if the letter, um, so elif s uh, i, so if that letter that's currently being run through uh, equals the last um, the last element in that stack, so the one that was just put in, then that element would be popped out of the stack because that would mean that they were um, the same letter. So a duplicate, so it will be removed from the word. And else, if they were not the same letter, then that letter that was being run through would be added to the stack, so added to the word. So it basically just keeps running through um, what's been, the letters that are being added to the stack and seeing if that letter that has just been added to the stack is the same as the letter that we want to add. And if it is, it, that letter gets removed. If it isn't, then that new letter gets added. And yeah. So that's all for the video and thank you for watching.